Hey guys, Buffing Game Bad today, bringing you a video, and today we are covering SAS kits. You guessed it, you guys have been asking for it. I've had a bunch of comments for you guys requesting this video. So, have a few SAS kits here that the British Special Forces use in real life, so we'll be going through those today in this video. We also have Spetsnaz, Shadow Group, and I believe Delta also up on the channel as well. If you guys want to check that out, um, go ahead and just browse the channel. They were up within the last two weeks. So go ahead and check those out. If you're interested, I'll try and also link them down below if I remember. Otherwise, when you guys do me a solid and you can go ahead and do that and I'll pin it in the comments. So let's go ahead. And today, first off for the operators, you can see we're using soap here. Now, obviously for SIS, these are pretty straightforward. You can either run <clears throat> Captain Price, uh, Ghost, not sure why it doesn't want to load and show. So we're going to run soap in, in one of his, uh, we're going to be running his Covert Ops skin. Covert Ops skin, you can also run Capture a Kill or Classic Soap if you do happen to have that, which I do not. Go ahead and back out. You also have uh, Ghost. Has some really solid skins there also. And then we have Price as well. So those are our main SAS folks there. That you can run today and we also have gaz so you can also run gaz as well but today we're running soap because he just is classic sas for the call of duty franchise and looks awesome so the first weapon we're going to be covering today is the aw50 so this is a weapon that's utilized by british special forces the sas sniper rifle um now the cool thing here in game it comes with this h26 porta compensator this is the compensator that typically uh comes and they utilize on the uh, the AW50 in real life. So this big fat break compensator, similar to um, what we see on the like the Barrett, that big tank break on there as well. So AW50 with the port of comp gonna help with the horizontal recoil control. Go ahead and throw it on there. The 33 inch uh, super, the longest barrel here, gonna give us the damage at range and the bullet velocity. Go ahead and put that on. We're gonna run the. Uh, AccuShot, 5 milliwatt laser. This is going to help with aim down sight and aim and stability. And the Raptor Optic on there for the rangefinder. And obviously, the level aim of bipod. So let's go ahead, jump into the fire range with this bad boy and take a look at it. So here we go. <clears throat> the AW50 with that Raptor sight there. That big compensator. Just a great weapon. Haven't really seen many people using this. Nor was I really using it much, but cool thing is you got the bipod mount. Sounds really nice with that uh, break on there. Beautiful. So, one more preview. Again, this would give you pretty good recoil control with that compensator on there. Quick scope. Nope. I tried, though. But that is the AW50. Utilized by the British Postal Forces, SAS. Go ahead and back out quick. And you already saw what soap looked like with that, but we'll go ahead and preview it one more time. Assuming it wants to load, and there it is. So, again, he just looks awesome with that sniper rifle on there. Um, I really love this uh, skin for soap as well. Next up, we're going to be running the UCIW, the Ultra Compact Individual Weapon. The UCIW, this is from the company... Uh, LWRC. They brought us the one of the weapons we saw in the LWRC 45 from Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2019. Uh, I forgot what its name was in game. It was it was the the UN the mod, more the different Americanized UMP 45 weapon that was added in Modern Warfare 2019, and it was just terrible. But this essentially again UCIW is the ultra compact individual weapon. Comes with a seven inch barrel in real life. So we did a Banshee conversion the other day with this similar type build at least the barrel um now you could definitely obviously run this as the uciw as well so we're going to run the seven and a half inch tempest firebrand barrel the cz1 milliwatt peck for that peck 15 gonna run the weaver optic there on the top gonna run the ravage 8 buttstock to give us more of kind of like the older school buttstock for the m4s or at least the one that typically we see on the uh the uciw and then we're going to run this uh, Schlager Tango Grip on this as well. So this is the UCIW. Pretty solid looking weapon. Let's go ahead and we'll check it out in the fire range quick. So here we go. UCIW. Looking pretty clean.
Beautiful. UCIW from LWRC International. Now, again, that's utilized also by British Special Forces SAS. We'll go ahead and make this a favorite. Take a look at how soap looks with the UCIW. So, <clears throat> pretty sweet. Gotta love the way that looks. Again, just that operator skin is really, really cool. So, that's the uh, UCIW Ultra Com Compact Individual Weapon. That's a tongue twister. Next up, we're going to run the L19A1. So, you can run a couple different versions of this, like the A2, things like that. But I really like the look of the A1. So here we're going to run the M4 with the 14-inch carbon shroud. Too bad you don't keep the gas block on that for the front sight post. But is what it is. Go ahead and run that. You could also run the uh, 11 and 5. But uh, in real life, it, it would be a 14 and a half. They do look similar. None of them keep the front sight post for the gas block, unfortunately. One milliwatt uh, PEC-15 there on the right-hand Picatinny rail. We're going to run the Trijicon with the top-mounted RMR or the Oscar 9. The Ravage 8 buttstock, yet again, again, that older school type M4 type buttstock that came on some of these sometimes. And then we're going to run the Hex 40 grip for that front grip option on the L19A1. So then we have just a woodland camo on there to kind of complete the look. Looks nice and clean. Let's go ahead and take it into the firing range. So here we go. We'll go ahead and preview it. Looks really nice. Take that far target first. Pretty clean. Again, the top mounted RMR also is awesome to use. Except when you're inaccurate like that, then it's probably not the best at those ranges. There we go. That is our L19A1. Really nice build. Go ahead and back out and we'll preview the operator with it. So setting that to the favorites. Go ahead and look. How soap looks with the L19A1. Again, super clean. Love the look. You can definitely even run with a uh, like a black. I mean, a black and tan mix would look really good with uh, this particular skin as well. But I do like that wooden camo on there. So that looks really clean. The L19A1. Let's go ahead now and we will go with the uh, HK. 33 so we'll go to this this is the lockman 556 so for this one we're gonna run the lockman s9 factory stuff that's gonna give us that adjustable <clears throat> excuse me that adjustable uh rear buttstock there telescopic buttstock we're gonna run the l can there uh you can obviously switch this up this is more personal preference i just decided i for whatever reason felt the l can was uh <laughs> it was a good option for this one uh, we're going to run that PEC-15 of the CZ-1 milliwatt PEC on the right-hand PEC rail. And then the Lockman Nova gives us a little bit longer slash modernized looking handguard on this weapon. So I like the way that looks. Again, that's purely purely aesthetics. And then you can do uh, whatever you want with that final attachment slot for the fifth slot. So let's go ahead, take it to the firing range quick. Go ahead and preview the weapon. Really nice looking see how it handles here in the firing range again this is just a really accurate weapon overall I remember the beta it was just basically like a laser I do like the transparent magazine on it also so there we go our HK 33 firing 5 by 6 by 45 NATO Go ahead and back out, and we'll set that as our favorite. And see how Soap looks with that bad boy. That actually looks pretty awesome. <laughs> so, that looks really good. Very fitting for Soap. Really love the look of that one. The h &K 33 utilized by British Special Forces, SAS. Go ahead, and I believe our final weapon today, yes, is going to be the MP5 uh, A3. So, we have this thing suppressed. For whatever reason, they still don't have an SD in the game, which is wild. But what we're going to do with this is run the uh, the L38 Falcon handguard on there for the barrel. Give us a little bit more modernized uh, pick rail handguard with the rail covers there on the left and the right-hand side. We're going to run the signature MKV suppressor on this. We're also going to be running the Point G3P04 optic, or excuse, not optic, laser on that right-hand Picatinny rail for hipfire accuracy. And then we're going to run an aim point with the Soro 7 and the 40 round magazine to just complete the look. So that is our MP5 A3 suppressed.
go ahead now and check it out in the firing range. Inspect is really clean on this. And again, they got that green laser. Pretty decent hip fire. At least at these close targets. Not. Obviously, 9x19, not built for that range at all. That's our MP5A3 suppressed. Go ahead and back out and make it our favorite. And take a look at how it looks. With our soap operator again. Looking awesome. That might be the best one, honestly. <laughs> the MP5A3 with soap for British Special Forces SAS looks really clean. So let me know your thoughts down below. Which one was your favorite out of the bunch? We covered the MP5A3. The UCIW, the L19A1, we covered the HK uh, 33, as well as the AW50. So let me know which one you like the best out of all those weapons. So next time, this is Buffer Gaming with British Special Forces SAS kits or loadouts. Till next time, Buffer Gaming out.